Um, the aspect that I'm most interested in is um, GM foods, genetically modified foods. Um, I just find it very interesting on how you can produce these um, herbicide and pesticide plants and how, um, ah, I just lost my thought. <laughs> you can start over anytime. Okay, ask the question again. <laughs> what aspect in the biotechnology field are you most interested in? Okay, the aspect in biotechnology that I'm most interested in would have to be genetically modified foods. Um, can you think? <laughs> I think I'm just nervous. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go. Maybe you should ask. The aspect in biotechnology that I'm most interested in is producing genetically modified foods. Um, having crops that are um, pesticide resistant and herbicide resistant can kind of like save farmers money because they don't have to spend as much money and time on spraying their crops with herbicides or pesticides because the crops already naturally have them in them and based on that they can even sell the crops at um, lower prices and stuff like that and the crops can also be combative to diseases like um, like the potato famine that happened in Ireland they're working on um, ways that the crops would be resistant to the diseases that they can they can get so it's very interesting well, I really didn't know much about biotechnology. Um, like in high school, I had the choice of even taking like AP Bio or some biotechnology class, and I was like, well, I'll just take biotechnology and see what aspect of science it involves and stuff like that. Because science is so broad, and there are so many different things in it. So I decided to give the biotechnology a try, and um, the class that I took was very informative, and I learned a lot, and it just sparked an interest in me and I was just like, well, this stuff is really cool, being able to separate DNA or make amplify DNA, things like that. So I just found that very interesting. Um, I think my career would enrich lives by, um, like I said, with the GM foods. So like for, for instance, there's golden rice that they made a couple of years back. I guess I'm not sure what time period it was in. Um, and the golden rice had vitamin A in it and it um, um, had the vitamin A in it and it um, made help people produce beta carotene which helps them see is happening over in China and they were having psych problems and so that's what their golden rice did so that's just an, an example of how biotechnology can just um, improve, li improve life and quality of life and prices on foods and stuff like that. Um, the skills that I'm learning are very exciting in the fact that they are extremely hands-on. Um, I realize that there are a lot of people who have bachelor's degrees don't have the skills that we would have coming from Athens Tech. Um, I think that being able to um, manip manipulate organisms to make them do what you want them to do and to improve our life is <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> don't, don't make that <laughs> exciting about the skills you're learning? Um, skills I'm learning are extremely exciting. Um, Athens Tech provides us with um, hands-on skills and, and knowledge to go along with those skills on how to manipulate organisms to make them do whatever you would like them to do. Um, being able to do things like amplifying DNA and transforming bacteria to make them glow and um, um, separating DNA and even to the aspects of forensics, biology is basically that too. So, <laughs> what do you um, want to find most valuable is the fact that it's extremely hands-on, like I've said before, and um, I mean we get to work with um, pretty cool equipment and pretty updated too. Um, I realize that maybe some people over at the university possibly may not have, like, I don't know if they have HPLCs in their DNA labs, if they have anything like that, but um, yeah, it's extremely hands-on in it, and it gives us a foundation of the skills that we would need to go out in industry and to, to go forth in that. How do you use creation? 
I guess you use creative thought in the lab by, for instance, if a procedure doesn't work out correctly, I guess you have to be creative and find ways to tweak the procedure and try and make it more efficient and um, make it to do almost close to whatever you want it to do. So, um, five years from now, um, hopefully, I, I would have a bachelor's degree and possibly working on my master's degree. I'm not sure exactly what that would be in. But um, hopefully I would, I would like to have a job at like a lab manager maybe at like the USDA or any other um, local Athens company around here. So that's what I would like to do. Um, I would have to say my career goals are that I would like to work with the USDA or possibly with any of the companies out there, mostly in the West that work with the drought resistant crops. Um, Athens Tech kind of lays like a foundation for me. Um, I've taken classes before at Athens Tech on biotechnology, but like um, Athens Tech gives you the hands-on skills to actually, after you're done, to go straight in the industry or even after, in, it also gives you the knowledge to go forth and pursue any other academic interests or anything like that, so.